Hello, I'm Kristen Murphy. And I'm Luke Heffron. And for the next 30 minutes, we'll be informing you of the happenings here on the campus of Missouri Southern State University. And those activities will include a story about a concert that was held here on campus by Grammy-winning artists, sports, weather, and an update from our producer about a Senate debate also held on campus. So stick around. Broadcasting from Missouri Southern State University, this is your weekly update featuring news from campus and the Joplin area. You're watching the Chart Broadcast Edition on KGCS Channel 22. And welcome to the Chart Broadcast Edition. This is a news program produced by the Mass Communication students here at Missouri Southern State University. Our mission is to provide students an environment to gain experience in the field of broadcast and update you on what is new with the campus. That's right, and um, speaking of what's new, we just had spring break not too long ago. How was your spring break? You know, it was okay. I, I didn't really go anywhere too exciting, but I'm, I know that a lot of people did. Did you do anything fun? Um, actually, I went to South Dakota, but we can oh, get into fun. that later. We won't bore the viewers. Well, a few days ago, before spring break, the Grammy Award nominated band The Newsboys visited campus for a sold out concert at Taylor Auditorium. Prior to the event, the band hosted a question and answer session with over 30 lucky fans to include our producer Michael Woodruff. Probably best known for their hit song, Not A Shame, the Newsboys performed over one and a half hours. You can check out Woody's full story by visiting our Facebook page. And you know, many other events have occurred here on campus that were not necessarily spotlighted like the Newsboys were. Um, on February 29th, Leap Day, uh, the Board of Governors met in a closed session regarding uh, promotion and hiring. This was partially concerned with the budget issue that's been uh, addressed all semester, but was also focused on specific uh, teachers who were requesting promotions. In the Board of Governors meeting that occurred just before spring break, the Board made the decision uh, public on the Leap Day. Uh, they, they made the decision that was made on Leap Day. They made it public. Yeah. Um, and coming up is uh, a part of that meeting. The final vote of the board was not to interrupt the process at this late date and to consider the promotions if they are presented to us. Missouri Southern will oftentimes have local restaurants come and hand out food to promote themselves. But these particular students have a much deeper motive as why they deliver muffins to other students on campus. Our director, Jacob Hamilton, has more for us. If you attend Missouri Southern and are looking for a quick bite of breakfast on Tuesday mornings, you are in luck. A group of students meet on Monday nights to bake a huge batch of muffins at the College Heights Christian Church's kitchen, and then they deliver them Tuesday mornings at Missouri Southern, an idea they came up with this semester. Um, I think we just, we just started this semester, so it's only been like a month. But this was, I think it was a collective idea. Honestly, I think we stole it from Pitt State, and then they did it there, and we took it, and, um, but it's a very cool idea, and I think they're okay with it, so. The idea is for this group of students to deliver the muffins at Southern on Tuesday mornings and simply let the students know that they love them. We got together, and we started with, um, flyers and then we got together a group of us from the college heights um, college age and we wanted to see how we could um, show love to southern kids and so we sat down got some ideas together um, paired up with some Pitt State people and they do a muffin Monday and so we kind of did a spin off that and they said it's really successful so we made it happen. Let people know that we love them that it's that um, everyone likes a muffin so it's cool to be able to give something without strings attached and it's fun for us. I mean we get to all get together and we get to hang out and make muffins and we get to pass them out in the morning so it's kind of a win-win-win. With the church as a sponsor they are able to bake over 200 muffins every week all to spread some love. For the Chart Broadcast Edition I'm Jacob Hamilton. Held last Wednesday at Billingsley Student uh, center uh, and over 50 different employers came out and represented their business. Each business had something to offer the 300 students from part-time positions to full-time internships. According to Nicole Brown of the Career Center, the biggest thing they want students to take away 
is that there's opportunities in every company, just about for every major. And on March 15, 2011, St. Baldrick's was an event thrown by Student Senate Molly Shoemaker in Leggett and Platt Young Gymnasium. St. Baldrick's Foundation is a childhood cancer charity fundraising for the most promising research to help fund cures for kids with cancer. 32 people cut their hair that night. Faculty, staff, students, and even children cut their hair for the cause. MSSU students donated and raised money for people to cut more than just their heads, though. Beards and eyebrows were cut as well, as Raymond L. Lapira hosted and Demi DJ Kimmy, excuse me, knew providing music for the night. It ended with the school raising $6,500. And Tuesday, March the 27th, NALA, the Neighborhood Adult Literacy Action Organization, hosted its 13th annual Spelling Bee. Community businesses like Best Buy, Empire Electric, among others, were involved. The event raised money for NALA education since they are a free service. Each student cost NALA about $500 per year to tutor. Catherine Mays, who hosted the event, explained how much money NALA raised and what it's going towards. We usually have a goal of about $5,000. Uh, it really pays for books. Um, each student that comes in wanting help from NALA uh, is an average about $500 for books. It's no cost to them and we have uh, volunteer tutors as well but we need those funds to buy books to be able to provide all the workbooks and some of the um, online uh, study that they that they are able to do on our computers and um, to get them through the whole course. And the event also encompassed a silent option to raise money in addition to uh, the spell ball. For more information, visit joplininala.org. Um, and you know, it's great to see causes like the the St. Baldrick's and the, the the spelling bee event on campus. Um, and Wes has a story about another campus event. What do people want out of life? A very general statement. What do people want out of life? Just purpose. Over the past two weeks. Missouri Southern State University has hosted an event called Project Tychicus. Throughout the week, Baptist Student Union, Fellowship of Christian Athletes, and Quanania have provided guest speakers, pool parties, nights of worship, and another event called Understanding the Storm. I caught up with John Smith, the Baptist Student Union leader, and asked him what this was truly all about. Well, there's a lot of groups involved. Uh, in terms of what's happening here tonight, there, it's FCA, Fellowship of Christian Athletes, um, Baptist Student Union, and uh, we've had Koinonia, and uh, I, I think Campus Crusade for Christ have been, have been showing up at other events as well uh, that we've done throughout the week. Um, as far as campuses visiting us, tonight we have Air Force Academy, we have University of Colorado, Colorado Springs, Mizzou, and um, UMKC. Uh, this is for spring break. Uh, it's a spring break mission that the Baptist Student Union put together um, in conjunction with other churches and campus ministries. Um, because the tornado was so powerfully affecting our community, we wanted to, to um, be able to better receive the teams that are coming. Instead of going someplace on our own, we decided this year it would be better for us to just host well the teams that are coming to us. Essentially we're doing it because we want to help our community. Um, Jesus leads us to uh, take care of widows and orphans. Um, he's, he's, Jesus is really big on charity work is what it comes down to and we feel like part of part of the gospel of Christ is, is living out um, and being an example to others of the grace that we have been shown ourselves and so uh, by doing little things like like just trying to, uh, to help the people who are coming here to serve us, um, to be able to do that better. Uh, it's just one way that we can, we can come out and, and show people what it means to, to follow Christ. For the Chart Broadcast Edition, I'm Wes Underwood. Well, after the break, we'll have your Missouri Southern Lion Sports. And we'll also have news about the NCAA Men's Championship game. We'll be right back.
Join the pride at Missouri Southern State University. Our students become future leaders with over 100 degree options, including nursing, criminal justice, communications, and paramedics. Let MSSU help you prepare for your future and build a fulfilling career. Check out your degree choices now at mssu.edu. Missouri Southern State University. Join the pride. The Joplin tornado left the town scarred. Time has passed, but the need for volunteers continues. College students, faculty, and staff are pitching in to help build Joplin's future with Show Me You Care. The statewide program seeks volunteers to come to Joplin to make repairs, help families move, clean up debris, and sort and distribute donated items. Your campus can help. Call AmeriCorps or visit their website. Show Me You Care. Building Joplin's future, campus by campus. If you are an active or retired enlisted member of our nation's armed forces, TRIA, the Retired Enlisted Association, is looking for you. Our mission is to enhance quality of life, protect earned benefits, and continue devotion to God and country. TRIA supports area nonprofit organizations and provides financial assistance to National Guard personnel and their families during deployment. Find out more at our website, trea.org. Join TRIA and help create a better world for our men and women in uniform. Nursing isn't just another occupation. To you, it's an opportunity to help others with skills that will carry you through a lifetime of personal and professional growth. At Missouri Southern State University, we understand your passion for making a difference. That's why we offer a number of degree options designed to help you reach your goals and beyond. Our fully accredited nursing programs prepare graduates for careers in a variety of healthcare settings. Missouri Southern State University. Join the pride. This is the and welcome back to the chart broadcast edition. Well, it's been an exciting couple of weeks for Lions Sports. Yeah, it has. And I mean, the weather's been beautiful for the past couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. Great time for some baseball. Yeah, I'm I'm really excited for the uh, for the opening of the season. And they had a the, we had a big game coming up uh, a couple weeks ago uh, last week. Yeah, and we also had the NCAA tournament going on, and we're going to toss it to Andrew Webb, um, who's our sports enthusiast. Andrew, who do you have? Who do you pick for your? You know, you guys bracket. are right. Uh, Kentucky won the national championship in basketball. I actually had them in my bracket, winning it all, and that's the sixth straight time I picked a national champion for basketball. More on that in a moment. Uh, Longtime announcer Kevin Grime will join the. Development staff at MSSU as major gifts officer starting April 9, 2012. Grime has worked at Missouri Southern since 1999 and currently serves as Associate Athletic Director for External Relations at the University. In this role, he manages marketing, sales, and radio activities for the athletics department, serves as the voice of the Lions, and also supervises the sports of baseball and golf. Grime will continue to supervise baseball and golf through the end of their respective seasons, but will no longer be the voice of the Lions on the radio. Missouri Southern's baseball team started its season in mid-February and got off to a great start. I had a chance to catch up with pitcher Ryan Wheat and ask him what he thought about the season and as well as the team's goals for the rest of the season. Well, we got a. Uh, we're doing pretty well this season. Uh, we started off really well. We went 11 and one. Um, started off 8 and 0 in conference, and we're uh, we're doing pretty well. Um, we dropped some games here and there, but overall, I think we're we're still in it with everyone. Yeah, we're very happy with how we've done. I mean, you can always have room for improvements. Uh, you know, I th we're we're a lot better team than last year, so. Um, yeah, we're very, we're, we're very proud with what we're doing right now. Goals of a team, long term, actually went in the conference. That, but, you know, that has always happened. So we got the conference tournament coming up um, here at the end of the season. So They are now 19 and 11 on the season overall and 12 and 10 in conference play. So, of course, they are shaping up to have a good season. In other news, the Kentucky Wildcats men's basketball team won the national championship on last Monday night against the Kansas Jayhawks. Kentucky was the favorite entering the tournament and went on to prove it with a superb play from Michael Kidd-Gilchrist, 
Anthony Davis, Jerron Lamb, Marquis Teague, and Terrence Jones. Also, the Baylor Bears women's basketball team, led by phenom Brittany Griner, went on to win the women's national championship last Tuesday night as they defeated the Notre Dame Fighting Irish. It's starting to begin, become that time of year where it's action-packed with sports, and we will keep you posted on what's happening everywhere. In next episode, we will talk about Mizzou's move to the SEC and what it means for them, as well as the Missouri Southern women's softball team and how their season is going. Until next time, I'm Andrew Webb. Well, thanks, Andrew. Now let's go ahead and take a quick peek at this week's KGCS TV Channel 22 schedule coming up. Well, on Monday, April the 9th, we have the BWF Badminton Super Series 2011, and that's the, uh, the Korean Open semifinals, and that's at uh, 2 p.m. And on Tuesday, April the 10th, we, at 3 p.m., we have the Cold Case Files. And on Wednesday, the 11th, at 10.30, there's Planet X. And then on Thursday, April the 12th, at 8 a.m., we have 26 men. On Friday, um, April 13th, we have, at 10.30, there's Taste TV. And then also on Saturday, we have, there's the same show, only it's at uh, 12 p.m. And for more information, go ahead and visit www.mssu.edu backslash KGCS. And we'll return after break. We'll have your local weather. And a political update from our producer, Michael Woodruff. That's right. Uh, we'll be right back. Join the pride at Missouri Southern State University. Our students become future leaders with over 100 degree options, including nursing, criminal justice, communications, and paramedics. Let MSSU help you prepare for your future and build a fulfilling career. Check out your degree choices now at mssu.edu. Missouri Southern State University. Join the pride. The Joplin tornado left the town scarred. Time has passed, but the need for volunteers continues. College students, faculty, and staff are pitching in to help build Joplin's future with Show Me You Care. The statewide program seeks volunteers to come to Joplin to make repairs, help families move, clean up debris, and sort and distribute donated items. Your campus can help. Call AmeriCorps or visit their website. Show Me You Care. Building Joplin's future, campus by campus. If you are an active or retired enlisted member of our nation's armed forces, TRIA, the Retired Enlisted Association, is looking for you. Our mission is to enhance quality of life, protect earned benefits, and continue devotion to God and country. TRIA supports area nonprofit organizations and provides financial assistance to National Guard personnel and their families during deployment. Find out more at our website, trea.org. Join TRIA and help create a better world for our men and women in uniform. Nursing isn't just another occupation. To you, it's an opportunity to help others with skills that will carry you through a lifetime of personal and professional growth. At Missouri Southern State University, we understand your passion for making a difference. That's why we offer a number of degree options designed to help you reach your goals and beyond. Our fully accredited nursing programs prepare graduates for careers in a variety of healthcare settings. Missouri Southern State University. Join the pride. This is the Chart Broadcast Edition on KGCS TV, Channel 22. And welcome back to the Chart Broadcast Edition. You know, it's been uh, it's been really warm weather. We've had really warm weather this uh, this winter season, and uh, then there last week it got cold again for a couple of days. It's been kind of topsy turvy as to how the weather is. Yeah, it certainly has. Um, and we're going to hand it over to Kamaya Simpson, who's got your extended forecast. Hopefully, we'll have more good weather on the way. So, what do you think, Kimmy? You go. We are going to have good weather on the way. <laughs> Luke and Kristen. Good. You go. But right now, you know, this Monday it's going to be high of 68 and a low of 44. But check this out. Since it's going to be hot, 68, you're going to have some. You're going to be able to go to the Phelps Theater for a lecture, Women in Jazz. Now for Tuesday at 7 p.m., we're gonna have an event called the Black Jew Dialogue. And it's gonna be sunny outside with the high of 68 and the low of 43. Now for Wednesday, oh man, 
It's going to be mostly cloudy, the high of 69, the low of 51, but from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. And then Lions Den, you're going to have to try the local Joplin flavors. I'll be there. Here you go. Now, this Thursday, all-day events, uh, pre-registration for the students that with 60 credit hours. Hey, oh, that's me. Yeah, I'll be there. Here you go. But, the th but for the weather, it's going to be thunderstorms for the high of 67 and the low of 61. On Friday at 8 a.m. to 9.45 a.m., Project Stay will be having a breakout uh, breakfast, and it's going to unfortunately, unfortunately be raining with the high of 72 and the low of 53. <coughs> And that is your weather forecast. And stay tuned for next, well, stay here for next weekend. All right, well, thanks, Kenny. And when we come back, we're going to take a break. Um, we'll have an update on politics for you from our producer, Michael Woodruff. We'll be right back. Join the pride at Missouri Southern State University. Our students become future leaders with over 100 degree options, including nursing, criminal justice, communications, and paramedics. Let MSSU help you prepare for your future and build a fulfilling career. Check out your degree choices now at mssu.edu. Missouri Southern State University. Join the pride. The Joplin tornado left the town scarred. Time has passed, but the need for volunteers continues. College students, faculty, and staff are pitching in to help build Joplin's future with Show Me You Care. The statewide program seeks volunteers to come to Joplin to make repairs, help families move, clean up debris, and sort and distribute donated items. Your campus can help. Call AmeriCorps or visit their website. Show Me You Care. Building Joplin's future, campus by campus. If you are an active or retired enlisted member of our nation's armed forces, TRIA, the Retired Enlisted Association, is looking for you. Our mission is to enhance quality of life, protect earned benefits, and continue devotion to God and country. TRIA supports area nonprofit organizations and provides financial assistance to National Guard personnel and their families during deployment. Find out more at our website, trea.org. Join TRIA and help create a better world for our men and women in uniform. Nursing isn't just another occupation. To you, it's an opportunity to help others with skills that will carry you through a lifetime of personal and professional growth. At Missouri Southern State University, we understand your passion for making a difference. That's why we offer a number of degree options designed to help you reach your goals and beyond. Our fully accredited nursing programs prepare graduates for careers in a variety of healthcare settings. Missouri Southern State University. Join the program. This is the Chart Broadcast Edition on KGCS TV, Channel 22. And welcome back to the Chart Broadcast Edition. And you know, a month ago, uh, we reported on the statewide presidential uh, primaries and promised to bring you details on the Republican caucus. Well, here's our uh, producer turned political analyst, Michael Woodruff, in the flesh. Thanks, guys. Back on March 17th, Republicans statewide met at their selected county locations to determine the number of delegates each presidential candidate would receive for the upcoming Congressional District Convention on April 21st. Now, the Jasper County Republican Caucus was at Carthage Memorial Hall, and it was a packed house with over 359 registered party voters in attendance. And I took my camera around there, and I got some nice little shots of that, as you can see here. Uh, these voters broke into groups ranging from undecided to specific supporters for people like Mitt Romney, Rick Santorum, Newt Gingrich. And here's a little sample of what the supporters said at the, at the podium. <laughs> for all you people that don't know Newt Gingrich, I did. I do. I served as uh, Republican senatorial something. And uh, back when Duke Andrews was uh, just running for Speaker of the House, and while he was Speaker of the House. Ron Paul is a medical doctor and has been for over 50 years. As an OBGYN, he delivered over 4,000 babies. He is 100% pro life and always has been. Unlike some other so-called Christian conservatives that voted for taxpayer-funded abortions through Planned Parenthood. Documents uh, passed out because 
you know, it's interesting in politics, a lot of you don't know this, but the Supreme Court has ruled that you don't have to be truthful in political advertising. Can you imagine that? Politics is fine. But, uh, so I think I'm going to do something unusual. So take an opponent's document and ask you, pick it up, take a look at it. You got this in four feet? Uh, we all agree on what this man said here about being a bond in November. It's vitally important we do so. And with that said, we have to have the perfect candidate. And since Jesus is doing other things, <laughs> I'm going to talk to you about Rick Santorum. At the end of the Jasper County Caucus, the, the, there were awarded 25 delegates for Rick Santorum, 11 delegates to Ron Paul, 7 delegates to Mitt Romney, and 3 delegates to former Speaker of the House Newt Gingrich. Also, those delegates that met at the caucus will be visiting Pierce City on April 12th for the Congressional District Convention. And that should be a really a good event there. And on June 12th, the GOP is going to be meeting for their state convention in Jefferson City. And that should be pretty good, too. Uh, and then after that, it's going to be off to the sand and sun of Tampa, Florida for the national convention. Now, the Democrats are also going to be meeting September for their convention at the good old Charlotte, South Carolina. Well, that sounds like a ton of fun. Uh, are you going to be planning on taking your camera and covering either of those uh, events in Missouri? Oh gosh, I wish I could. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm going to be graduating pretty soon, and I don't, probably don't think the communications department has a budget for that just yet. Uh. Well, thanks, Woody, for filling us in. You're and, welcome. And that concludes this episode of the Chart Broadcast Edition. Uh, we'd like to thank you for tuning in. I'm Luke Heffron. And I'm Kristen Murphy. We'll see you next time.